Guys, here's a quick video to show how to assemble the Stay Stuck clip system. These are 11 O's, for example. So you've got an outer clip and an inner clip. We recommend running the outer clip on the inside of the hook. That's gonna give the most tension for the breakaway. I found it's easier to line everything up with a point down in my hand like that. And you can see the rings go into the slotted or perforated cutouts on the stainless steel clip. Now the clip is sacrificial. So you hook a blue marlin with it, you get a, get a solid bite, you're gonna lose the clip, but that's a small price to pay uh, for hooking up with a, a solid blue marlin hookup. So I've popped my clip, you just heard it pop on the, the bottom. Now I'm gonna make sure I'm lined up on the top. I got my pliers again, boom, I just popped it in. Now it's completely normal to have a little bit of play. Um, I'm gonna just kind of adjust it slightly with my clip there, but I'm good to go there. I've got a little bit of play, which is part of the system. That's that's completely, perfectly correct like that. Everything kind of has a little bit of movement to it. And now what happens when you get your bite and you bury that hook, that outer is gonna pop like that. And now you've lost your clips. They popped off, you can see the tension. And now you've, you're left with a very short shank hook that has reduced radial torque by approximately 47% buried in your fish.